I brought the kids to our family restaurant, Astro's Pizza and Philly J's restaurant, last week. The kids made their own pizzas and we were doing a food and nutrition segment of the curriculum for uh, family and consumer sciences. A lot of you guys asked why we call it Astro's Pizza, right? And how long we've been doing this. So my aunt's going to give you a little history about our family coming here. Alright? Hi. Pay attention. Hello. So I started working here with my brother and my parents when I was about your age. And the reason why it's called Astros is because uh, when we came in this town, there was already a pizza place. And the guy uh, decided to call it Astros because uh, of the astronauts just landing on the moon back in 19, well, it happened in 1969. The guy opened the place in 1971. And, but he didn't know how to make pizzas at all. He had been open like a couple of months. And what he used to do was cook the pizzas halfway throw them in the freezer, and whenever somebody came to get a pie, get it out of the freezer and warm it up. So after about three months of doing that, he didn't have any business left, so my father came along. Uh, we were at the time in Hampton Bays, for, we had just come in this country for a year, and um, my, we decided to move to Avianza and take over Astros. So we've been here 48 years. Right? Yeah. My name is Deborah Winter. I am the proud superintendent of the Spring School. I arrived here in July 2017 and I found HM. It is a small East End um, school that serves K to 8. Uh, about 700 students in total. We have about 300 that we tuition to East Hampton High School. And we have an opportunity here to do things a little bit outside the box and be very creative. The Family and Consumer Science program is required by New York State. We try to give our students an opportunity to um, explore not only culinary, but the skills that you need to survive in your home, in the real world. Uh, being able to manage your money is important. How are you going to pay for rent? What is a house cost? All of these real skills. So in order to do that, it's nice to go out into the community as well as have community members come to us, like having a bank come in to speak about financial security and how you can save and what that would look like 10 years from now. Guest speakers here at Spring School are very important to us. We want the community in and we want to take our children out to the community because that's the real world. We're not the segregated um, school. I'm um, sure it takes a lot of planning, organization, um, making sure that our kids are safe when they go out into the community, but it's all worth it in the end when they see the hands-on opportunities that are there for them. So before they went in there, they had an idea of like how to make bread and how to make tomato sauce and stuff. And then so we brought them in there to make their own pizzas and uh, you know, it just translates into uh, things that you need to do in life, like cooking and and cleaning up, like life skills, sort of, if you will. And uh, that's what we're really going for uh, in educationally for the futures, uh, you know, f uh, career and uh, college readiness and stuff like that. So the kids, um, you know, they loved it. They <laughs> Kids that go off to school don't know how to do their laundry yet. They don't know how to make a meal for themselves yet. They don't know how to balance a checkbook. They don't know how to even open up a checking account. They don't know how to apply for student loans. They don't know about credit cards and all that stuff. So if I can send them from here to the high school with those prerequisite skills and knowledge uh, and they have a grasp of what it is that they're going to be asked to do in high school, I think it's a win-win situation, not only for the kids, but for the community and, 
and the school itself. It's important that it start young because remember their skill sets are different. Not all are athletes. Not all really succeed academically. So if there's a student who says, I learned to cook, I'd like to cook for my class, we can make that happen where that child suddenly is seen as, wow, you, you know how to cook? I don't know how to cook. Yeah, but you're a gymnast. I'm not a gymnast. So trying to make our students feel like there's something that they can explore. Remember colleges now are not looking for the child who has a resume of nine things. Because truthfully, they know you can do those nine things well. They're looking for the child who has a passion. They've been cooking since second grade. It shows that passion. It shows that that college is not taking a risk on you. I'm Luke Barron. I am a sixth grade student at Spring School. <laughs> Mr. Lupo is a pretty cool teacher. I love the fact that he can, he can do hands-on things and go places, and that Mr. Lupo is one of the people who's pro hands-on activity. Well, Spring School is awesome. I mean, especially that that they have, thing, have things like Diversity Institute, where it promotes, you know, anti-bias and being, be, being pro-human rights. And I think all of that combined with the hands-on kind of field trip aspect uh, makes it a really good school environment. Hey, these all look pretty good. I, I love it here. I'm absolutely ecstatic that I'm here. I spent the last five years teaching in New York City in a school in Times Square. I wake up every morning and come to work with a smile on my face and I couldn't, you know, I couldn't ask to be in a better place. The, the, the administration has welcomed me with open arms, the teachers have welcomed me with open arms, the kids have welcomed me, and, you know, it, I, I, there's no place I'd rather be. Than home. Yeah, I'm glad to be home. Nice. Well done, my friend. You've done that before. We have some very, very talented children and staff here at Spring School, and we welcome the community to share their expertise with us.